Hey kids, it's Dad. Welcome to the Gaming with Dad show. Today we are looking at Jet Combat Cats vs. Dog Military Simulator for the Nintendo Switch. But before we do that, make sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell, leave a comment, share it with your friends. All that crap that YouTube seems to think is good for the algorithm. So, Jet Combat Cat vs. Dogs Military Simulator. Presently on sale for $2.99, regularly $7.99. Choose your side and rule the skies. Soar into the skies with Jet Combat Cat vs. Dogs Military Simulator, where the age-old rivalry between cats and dogs takes flight in a, this high-octane aerial combat game. Originally released November 21st, 2024, single system simulation action from Simula Maker. Rated E 10 plus because there's violence. Um Supports all three play modes, it's 522 megs, and it's in English. So, yes, this is a battle simulator with cats versus dogs. We're not doing any kind of end times with dogs and cats living together at the pandemonium. These cats and dogs have modern fighter craft. And... I have to ask myself who the hell this game is for because it is an accurate jet flight simulator with pretty accurate combat mechanics and yet it's cute cats and dogs at least in the still art when they show them in the actual cockpit they are a bit dystopian and frightening beyond all belief but yeah it's is this game trying to appeal to kids who would prefer an arcade shooter or is it trying to appeal to adults who tend to be more accurate flight sim i just don't know but let's talk graphics here so yes as you can see in the air this game actually looks really good it's not photorealistic but it's also it's a good looking flight sim where it falls flat is when it shows you the dog head superimposed on what is clearly a pilot's body um or a cat head clearly superimposed on a pilot's body it gets really, really, really creepy as all hell. Um, but, yeah. Graphically, I'm going to give this a 17. I'd, yeah, I knocked off a bunch of points for the uncanny valley that they've gone for with the cats and the dogs. But, yeah, in all reality, it looks good. Sound-wise, somebody bought... A Dollar Tree Top Gun soundtrack. And then the explosions are kind of hollow. And while you hear the jet uh, roar uh, with the afterburners and the slight adjustments and everything, it kind of has an empty feeling to it so sound is getting a 13 controls this is where it confuses me because if this was just another cat v dog arcade shooter it would make sense but no this is like some weird mashed together accurate flight sim i mean Left stick controls kind of your thrusters, air brakes, and you can make mild adjustments left and right depending on uh, your, your braking flaps. On the right, it's yaw and pitch and all of that. I, it's just confusing me who this game is for, but the controls work really, really well if you're expecting a flight sim, if you're expecting an arcade shooter, 
it's going to throw you for a whirl. It's just too steep of a learning curve for cute cats and dogs. It's not what I was expecting. I am going to give the controls a 15 because they are very functional once you figure out how to use them. Gameplay. It's a flight simulator. I mean, yeah, you start in the air, but thank God I haven't had to land or take off yet. But it's kind of just the same mission over and over again, just with different different objectives, if you will. Uh, in this case, destroy three uh, enemy cats who, of course, are in Tomcats. Um, but it's the gameplay is slow and tedious. This is not what I was expecting. I mean, maybe I should have, but it's not what I was expecting. Um, that it also just appears to be a chore to try to line your plane up properly. It's, yeah, I know it's accurate, but I just don't get into that type of stuff. I'm giving gameplay a 10. Now, overall value. Again, this game is preying on our love for our children and kids seeing cute cats and dogs in the images. And you n really never see the cute cat and dog in the images while you're playing. It's an accurate flight sim with battle components. I'm just super confused. That said, buck 99, I'm giving value a 10. It's got a score of 65. We'll talk to you kids later. Have yourselves a great one. Bye-bye. Hey, if you made it all the way through the video, make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, forward it on to all of your friends, as I appreciate that immensely, as you should appreciate yourself for having survived yet another review from the Gaming with Dad channel.